Chapter 1 Pilate's wife was having a fitful dream, filled with disturbing images of angels and of innocent men going to their deaths. Judas was making his way toward the Maccabean palace, trying hard not to think of what thirty pieces of silver might buy him. The night was late, and my mother Mary felt her heart heavy and deeply troubled. Over in a prison cell at Antonia's fortress, three prisoners, each well-chained, lay awake, wondering what it would be like to have a nail driven through their hands and then to die of suffocation. The gnats and flies are the worst part, I was once told, came the voice of one of the thieves, breaking the silence of his dungeon. I do not need to know that answered another. Not far behind me as I walked out of the city and crossed the Kidron Valley toward the Mount of Olives, Peter was finding it difficult to keep a small sword hidden under his robe. A boy of seven, unable to find sleep, slipped out of his home and began wandering the city, hoping to find one of my disciples. He had a question to ask. Why is this night so dark and foreboding? In the palace reserved for the governor of Galilee, Herod Antipas was not only awake, but drunk. I knew that before this night ended, I would meet Herod face to face. I dreaded him as snow dreads soot. The Jewish leaders, who live mostly on the east side of the city, were in the process of making a decision concerning me which they knew had to be acted upon before the Passover festival began. Once the sun rose, any decision might be too late. The Gentiles who lived mostly on the west side of Jerusalem would also face the same decision before noon of this same day. As I reached my destination, an olive grove near the Mount of Olives, what concerned me most was that there was much activity stirring in the unseen realm among the principalities and powers. Unaware of the treachery of this night, my disciples entered the olive grove with me at a place where I often came to pray. Here in this grove, I would know the last moments of freedom I would ever have while on this earth. I knelt and then fell to the ground. My disciples began to pray with me, but their prayers soon became labored. Shortly they fell asleep. As I prayed, I wept. And as I wept, a cup appeared before me. Though I had long known this hour would come, I recoiled in horror from what I beheld. Father, please, if possible, Find a way that I might not drink of it. Even as I spoke, the cup drew nearer. 